Now your Action 3 News first warning forecast with meteorologist C.T. Tonklin. I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday so far, and we're halfway to the weekend and also halfway to some very dry weather. We can definitely use it after some rounds of rain, and I'm sure your, your yard is saying, no more rain. I need to be cut. And it looks like as we head through the next couple of days, we're looking at another round of some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow into uh, perhaps uh, tomorrow afternoon into early Friday morning. And after that, Friday afternoon through Saturday should be dry. And then right now, I've had to return some thunderstorm chances in the forecast Sunday and Monday. At least one good thing out of this uh, this. This, this rain event here in our forecast over the next few days, that should keep temperatures fairly steady into the low to mid-80s for highs and lows into the mid-60s. All right, what we're looking at right now, the storm scan is a very convenient combination of the radar and satellite picture all put together for you. One thing I want to show you here with our visible satellites, so we're actually seeing these clouds from about 23,000 miles above the Earth's surface, and what you're looking at right here is a clear pocket, and that's where temperatures are starting to warm up because we have a lack of clouds, and that is, again, thanks to the sunshine. So we're going to be cooking up the atmosphere as we head through this afternoon here, and let's go switch sources over to the first warning storm tracker. Let me go ahead and uh, explain this mess that you might see on your TV screen. Here is where our frontal boundary is. This is the leading edge of some warmer air. This warm front will make its way north and increase our southerly winds, which will help increase the amount of fuel that we're going to be uh, feeding some thunderstorms as we head towards tonight. This green outline right here represents a slight risk area that's defined by the Storm Prediction Center for the rest of the day today into tonight. And this yellow outline right here represents a moderate risk. So what we're looking at is the area north of this warm front to about the Interstate 80 corridor. In the mix for the probability of large hail, damaging thunderstorm winds, and even the risk for some isolated tornadoes, especially right along this front where we have a lot of wind shear, the a rapid change in wind direction and speed as you go up higher into the sky. Back over to the weather computer here. Tomorrow, if you remember in our threat tracker, we have it in orange as well, and it's because of this kink in the jet stream. This is where a trough of low pressure sits right now, right over the Great Basin. That trough of low pressure will simply move eastward right over the Rockies tomorrow and strengthen the surface low pressure system that's already out to the west. So we're really going to crank up some south winds tomorrow, even some more fuel for some thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. So we're not out of the woods over the next couple of days here. Back to this afternoon. Don't worry about any rain. I think things are going to be quiet at least for the next few hours. Once we head past 5 o'clock, I think our first chances of thunderstorms should begin a little bit farther south of Interstate 80, closer to this warm front. So it'll be reasonable to expect to see some thunderstorm activity here as we head through the evening if we're going to be out and about. And then once we head through the evening hours, the tension will turn towards some heavy rain, as you can see with our computer model. Things should quiet down early tomorrow morning and redevelop near this frontal system as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. And that's pretty close to where the Storm Prediction Center has us in a moderate risk for, once again, hail, wind, even tornadoes tomorrow afternoon. Right now, it's cloudy out there with a temperature of 71 degrees and a steady east wind at 9 miles per hour, 73 in Lincoln, already 77, thanks to the clearing skies that showed you off to the south. 82 this afternoon with uh, some thunderstorms developing this evening. We'll be, be breaking the partly sunny skies for the swimcast, by the way. 68 tonight with thunderstorms likely. 85 tomorrow with a redevelopment of thunderstorms towards the afternoon, and that rain tapers off Friday morning. Friday's high up to 80 degrees. 85 on Saturday with dry conditions and a chance of thunderstorms return Sunday and Monday. Michelle? All right, thanks, CT. If you want to know 